Today at the shop, I am working on um, some one inch black pipe uh, for, a, I guess, a mudroom. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to span the length of the mudroom so they can hang clothes and stuff like that. Uh, but everything that they found was either like weirdly expensive or um, more custom, um, but didn't really do the heavy duty stuff that they were wanting to do because they wanted to hang coats and like coveralls and stuff like that. So I, I got this one inch pipe, a couple of um, end caps here, and I trimmed it to, to length. And I really wanted to just kind of showcase the cheapest pipe threader that you can get. I've actually used this many times on the, the half inch setting. And um, this is the Harbor Freight. Uh, it says just half to one inch. So it's got half, three quarter, and then, then one inch. And uh, it works great for anything that I've done. I used it to run all my, um, my air compressor lines. So that's what I primarily used it, have used it for. Uh, I don't know if I would use it to, um, you know, if you're gonna be in like an industrial application or you're using it constantly. But for these little jobs here and there, it's worked great so far. I've never used the, the one inch one, so that's gonna be what we do today and just kind of see. Um, I've cut it to length so far, and now I'm just gonna kind of deburr it and then get this set up so I can actually do the threading. Bark. set up. It's a nifty little kit for how cheap it is. It's got a ratcheting um, motion on it so once I get it set up and aligned properly get my cutting oil on. Um, really shouldn't go too too bad. But I haven't of course I, like I said I haven't used it for the one inch yet so the half inch goes really nice smooth and easy. Um, maybe one is a little bit more of a bear but um, we'll see. It's been a hot second since I've actually done it, so it might take me a couple of tries to see if I'm assuming I want it on this way, because this is what's going to give me my perfect fit and my alignment that I need. So I'm really going to want it, yep, just like this. And then your adjustments for, um, for your ratchet. Is right here you just spin it around and, and that's what gives you your adjustment it looks like I'm lined up and, and everything looks okay I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of cutting oil and then just gonna start going slowly over it and hope for the best and so far from what I can tell and what I've been told is you can never have enough cutting oil <laughs> so just really kind of be generous with that whenever you're getting it in there because the the way that you keep this in good working condition is to use the cutting oil efficiently and effectively I'm not sure I'm doing that but it's definitely more difficult to rotate than the half inch I will say for sure it's not hard or overly difficult but it is um you can tell I've definitely got to use a little bit more muscle than, than the half. The half's quite a bit easier. And I'm sure that's probably enough cutting oil, but... He's trying. I'm just glad that it's not rotating on me in the vise. That would suck. And I actually really don't even need it threaded a whole bunch. I really just need to, I think, 
a little over a half inch of threads just so I can get this on. I'm going to go until it feels comfortable or until I know for sure that I'm going to be able to spin it on. And then I'll start backing it off. A little bit more lube in there. All covered in lube. And I really wouldn't go fast or too fast. I mean, obviously the faster you go, the more you're going to heat it up. Um, but the faster you go, you could definitely, definitely screw the threading up. I can easily see that. I don't know how you'd go fast either, unless you were like She-Hulk's distant. No, you could just be She-Hulk. I'd say the regular Hulk, but I thought that guy had like a busted arm or something. Maybe it's better now, I don't know. But yeah, there's no way I could do this fast. Looks like some really good threads. Not too far away from the end. I'm gonna go around a couple more times, but that looks to be about as what I need. Oh, this piece is definitely heating up. It's definitely warmer, I can feel it. That's it, that's about it. I'm gonna keep going just because it's um it's kind of satisfying. Yeah, those threads look great actually. And they did actually they looked awesome on my all the half inch pieces I did. Because I actually ended up having to do a bunch of half inch pieces. So they all look great. I don't know what this um the pipe there cost me. I got it because I needed it in like a little pinch and I've got a Harbor Freight that's like 20 minutes from me and I wanted to get my air up and running whenever I first got to the shop. So I, um, so I went out and grabbed it. I know it's probably for sure the cheapest one you can buy, but and I haven't used the three, uh, three quarter, but if it works anything like the half or the one, it should everything should cut fine. Yeah, I'm coming up to the end. Yep. Okay, now that it looks like I'm kind of at the end, I'm gonna go ahead and reverse the uh, ratchet. Reverse it again, get all these chips out of here that I can so that way I'm not crunching back over the threads as I get this thing off. There we go. Just pop this off. I should be able to spin it off now. unless it gets caught. Not yet. I'm getting there though. Definitely not a fast motion, but hey man, if you need a, a custom length pipe, because it's obviously it was a 10 foot pipe whenever I originally got it, but I had to cut it down. But if you need a, a custom length pipe with threads on it, can't really beat the Harbor Freight Special, man. Look at that, like a glove. Yeah, I didn't need all that thread on there, but not gonna hurt anything. That's it. So if you only need to do that maybe once or twice, it's probably not that bad of a deal. Maybe if you're gonna do that a couple hundred times in a day, you probably wouldn't wanna wouldn't want to purchase this kit. You'd be looking at something completely different. But for what I need, it's not bad.
hopefully this uh, help you decide if you really need this or if this is something that you could add to your arsenal of tools and it's definitely been useful for me I really like it and I can't remember what the cost of it was but it could, there, there's no way it was expensive I couldn't imagine more than, I don't know 40 bucks 50 bucks maybe it could be less than that cutting oil is um, king though if you don't get this all of your threads are gonna come out junk they're all gonna tear apart it's gonna completely destroy the dyes that you got so definitely remember the cutting oil um, yeah that's it for me